right, in this lesson, we're looking at segment lengths formed by intersecting chords, secants, and tangents. So let's get started. We have three different types of uh, intersections. The first one is an intersecting chord or secant inside of the circle. And the formula that we use is A times B is equal to C times D. And so if it's on the same line, you're multiplying those two uh, values, and then it is equal to the other two values on the other line. Next, we have intersecting secants outside of the circle. So our intersections, intersection is on the outside right here. The formula that we use is A times A plus B is equal to C times C plus D. So A times A plus B equals C times C plus D. Our last one here, intersecting secant and tangent out, um, outside of the circle right here. And so that formula is A squared right here is equal to B times B plus C. So we're going to use these formulas to solve some problems involving um, intersecting chords, secants, and tangents. So the first one we're going to look at is like type 1 where you have uh, the intersection inside of the circle. So I have the formula in the middle right here. You're basically multiplying both numbers that are on the same line. All right. So for this one, I'm going to multiply um, 4 times 5x minus 1 because it's on the same or segment, I should say is equal to 6 times 6. And I just use algebra skills to solve this equation. 4 times 5x is 20x. 4 times 1 is negative 4. So that's a negative 1. Equals 36. We're left with this basic two-step equation. 36 plus 4 is 40, dividing by 20. So x is equal to 2. So we're asked to find BD. So from here to here, from D to this point here, that's 5x minus 1. So I'm going to plug in x. So 5 times 2 minus 1. That's 10 minus 1. So this portion here is 9. So 9 and 4, I'm just going to add that. That gives me 13. So BD is 13. All right, so this next example here, find TQ. I want you to go ahead and just pause the video and try this problem on your own. All right, so you should have gotten that TQ is equal to 27. Uh, if you did not get it correct, go ahead and pause the video and analyze my work a little bit more. So let's look at uh, two problems like type two, where you have intersecting secants outside of the circle. So once again, I have the formula for you right here in the middle, and I'm gonna actually label my parts here. So I'm gonna label this A as A, this piece here as B, C, and D. Now that'll help me um, plug it in a little easier. So A times A plus B, so A is eight times a plus B, so 8 plus 3x plus 4, so A plus B. On the other side, we have C, so C is 7 times C plus D, so that would be 7 plus 5x plus 2. So now I'm just going to simplify it. Simplify what's on the inside here. That is going to be 3x plus 12. On the other side, so 7 plus uh, 2, that would be 5x plus 9. Distributive property, 24x uh, plus 96 equals 35x. Just doing a distributive property, plus 63. Um, I am subtracting 24 from both sides, and so since I'm running out of space, 35 minus 24 will give me 11x. And I'm bringing down is 96. So again, I'm just using 
um, algebra skills, solving equations. Um, I'm going to add 60, uh, subtract 63 from both sides. I'm running out of space. Um, so it will cancel out on my left hand side. Uh, 96 minus uh, 63 is uh, 33 is equal to 11x dividing by 11. All right, just enough space. So x is equal to 3. And I just had to find x. So I've actually solved for x. All right, so x is equal to 3. All right, so of course, I would like for you to try this next problem. Find yz. So of course, you're just going to plug, plug x back in after you find it. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. So you should have gotten that yz equals 9. Hopefully you got it correct. If not, go ahead and just pause the video and analyze my work here a little bit more. So our last one we're going to look at is like type 3, intersecting secant and tangent outside of the circle. So I have the formula here um, in the middle for you to look at. And so A, I'm going to go ahead and label that. That is by itself. That would be LM. B would be right here, again, on the outside of the circle. And of course, C is on the inside of the circle. So I'm just going to use this formula to plug it in. So A squared, A is 16. So 16 squared is equal to B. My B is 8. B plus C. So B again is 8. Plus C is 5X plus 1. So I'm going to put everything inside. And then from that point, I'm just going to use algebra skills to solve. So 16 squared is 256. Simplifying what's on the inside of the parentheses, that would be 5x. 8 minus 1 is uh, 7. So plus 7. Distributive property. Bring down is 256 equal to 40x plus 56. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to subtract 56 from both sides, but this is, again, a basic two-step equation. So subtracting 56 from both sides, I get um, 200 equals 40x. Dividing by 40 with this one-step equation, and 200 divided by 40 is 5. So x is equal to 5. I'm not done because it asked me to find pn. So pn is here the 5x minus 1. So I'm going to plug it in. So x is 5. So 5 times 5 minus 1 is equal to 25 minus 1. That would give me 24. So pn is equal to 24. All right. So of course, you know, I'm going to have you try one on your own. So go ahead and pause the video and try this last problem on your own. All right, so you should have gotten that x is equal to 5. Hopefully you got it correct. If not, go ahead and pause the video and analyze my work here just a little more. All right, so we've reached the end of our lesson. I want to thank you for learning with me. Some related videos are Tangent Lines Part 1 and 2, as well as Arc Lengths in a Circle. If you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And once again, I want to thank you for learning with me.